So here's a short video to illustrate the marking scheme generator. I'm going to uh, use the final year project specification report uh, as an example. The marking scheme will be stored in an XML file and we can give it an arbitrary name. I like to use the name of the module. Now we can start building an assessment. Let's first of all create a new assessment. I'm going to call this the outline project specification. We give it a description. This can be a few lines and the contribution to the module overall. So uh, this is going to be 10% of the overall module. Now we can start adding some new tasks. So uh, the first task is going to be project description. And uh, this is a specification that the students were given. And this is going to be worth 25% of the assignment. The next thing I want to do is to add a number of grades to each task. Uh, the grades are going to have a, a numerical mark associated with them ultimately. Uh, but during the marking process I won't be interested in the marks. I'll only be interested in uh, providing a grade. Each grade has a generic uh, element of feedback associated with it. Um, we'll see in a minute that actually there's more detailed optional feedback can be added as well. Um, but the idea now is just to add a, uh, an overall description of how that grade is to be achieved. Uh, now I'm going to add another task to the project. So the second task is going to be the deliverables, project deliverables. Uh, I can try saving the scheme now, just in case. So, uh, back on the module page, I'm selecting a directory to place it in, and we we'll see there that there's actually a slight problem. All tasks must have at least one grade or mark associated with them to satisfy the schema. We really need some grades on this project deliverables task, so I'm going to add excellent. Actually, no, maybe not. I'm going to delete that one and make a copy of the grades from the other task. Now, you wouldn't normally want to do this because you want bespoke feedback for each task, but in this case I'm going to uh, modify it slightly, uh, at least for the excellent grade, to make it uh, specific to that particular grade. So you can copy them and use them as a basis for the next set. Okay, so we try saving the project again and uh, we still have 0% on the module, I forgot about that. Let's go back and fix that. So project deliverables needs to contribute. How much is it now? 25% of course. It's going to be four tasks altogether. So we saved the marking scheme successfully and I went away behind the scenes and added in the extra two tasks and some additional grades and we end up with this marking scheme. There's four grades for some of the tasks and five grades for others. Um, just to illustrate we can move the grades around if we want to keep the ordering sensible. Descending order of marks is typical. So the next thing I want to do is to turn this marking scheme template into a marking scheme for a cohort. And to do that I need some students. Here they are in a file exported from the student record system. Either CSV or Excel files can be imported. And what you should see is the student ID, name and email. If you're the kind of person who likes to mark on spreadsheets, then we can now generate a spreadsheet including all of the grade information and students that we've imported. Yeah, we need to uh, give the cohort a year so that the spreadsheet can have a sensible name.
So the spreadsheet was now generated and it's probably worth saving the marking scheme which includes the students at this point. So now we can open our spreadsheet that was generated and we'll see that there's at the beginning and end of it a summary and results sheet. Uh, the summary sheet will include exam question breakdown if we had exams. There are four worksheets generated per assignment and the one that we're interested in is the picking sheet because that allows us to select the grades from the drop down boxes that are going to make up the marks. Uh, having done that we'll then see the marks appear on the next sheet along and finally the feedback if we want to use a mail merge for example to generate the feedback. So let's fill in a few marks, a few grades for our students from the drop down boxes. You can add grades to the spreadsheet if you need to. The whole workbook is constructed using labelled areas and VLOOKUPs on student ID numbers so the order of students and so on isn't, isn't important uh, on the actual worksheet and there won't be any problems with marks getting corrupted if students are rearranged or deleted for example. Okay so you can see there that we added some grades, got the marks and there's the final summary sheet with the relevant percentages calculated. Let's fill in the rest of the students' marks. Now we have a complete set of marks, and on the feedback sheet, we have a complete set of feedback that could be mail merged, and we have a complete set of marks, including averages, etc., on the summary sheet. Ah, having reviewed the video, I've just noticed a continuity error in my behind the scenes file loading. The observant of you might have noticed that this uh, part of the assessment was supposed to be 10% of the module, not 100%. Some along the line a gremlin had struck the versions of this sheet, so we can save that. Um, on the spreadsheet uh, we can also change it. We've already filled the marks in on the spreadsheet, um, so if I regenerate it won't have the marks in. More of that later. Let's change the contribution to 10% and you can see that that's propagated through all the sheets and we now have uh, the correct mark for that part of the module assessment, the project specification.